absence of comprehensive data on persons with disabilities proved to be a major challenge towards international development work. Good data about persons with disabilities provides as an entry point to so many uh, social protection and social assistance programs, both to persons with disabilities themselves as individuals and also very helpful to the government. Uh, previous research shows that we have about 2 million persons with disabilities. And out of the 2 million, only slightly above 50,000 persons with disabilities are certified and have uh, disability cards. The agency is required to go out into the community and conduct what we call mobile registrations. Previously, they took the form of the use of uh, an assessment form and uh, that it in itself brought in challenges. One of the challenges was the loss of the forms in the process, the movement from the field to the office, and then also the registration required that the officers needed to be online. And we all understand that Zambia has challenges of network, especially in the remote areas. One of the challenges of the pen and paper process is uh, that it was taking long where to ask every question that was needed for each particular client, you needed to document in a very legible handwriting, by the way. <laughs> when they captured on paper, they used to go back and start keying in. So you introduce human error at, at two points, at capturing and also at entry into the system. So in responding to this, the United Nations in Zambia provided technical and financial support to ensure that we develop a web-based MIS system that will be able to give the country real data in real time in all the 10 provinces in a centralized manner. What they are doing now, each province and district can log on online and be able to enter information of who the clients. The headquarters in Lusaka can see what has been captured in the district and also cumulatively in a particular province and also nationwide. They can see the graphs moving in terms of the numbers that have been captured. So basically we are now talking about a proper disability information system. So the purpose of uh, this trip to Nakonde is to pilot a new module on the disability management information system. Uh, and this module is to enable the capturing of disability information outside the internet in an area re so remote that there is no internet connection. So we've developed a mobile application which is able to capture information for our clients. These are the people with disability. And this information is stored on a tablet. Why are we piloting it in a rural district, in a rural province? It's because we want to increase access points of registration for persons with disabilities. The whole uh, data collection process is divided into two. The first part, where you are supposed to collect the bio data of the, the, the client, is, is done by one person. Then the second part is done by a medical personnel. Uh, the role of a clinician in this process is actually to examine and uh, ensure that the different clients that are needed to be captured are really disabled. Because, you know, in the places where we are visiting, people have very little understanding of who a disabled person is. We are able to examine and say, okay, this is actually the particular uh, condition, medical condition that has led to complications leading somebody to be disabled. Piloting the application system in Muchinga province has been an exciting up and down experience. For instance, we noticed that the clinicians and the bio data entry clerks, they were supposed to have a flawless communication. We were having challenges posting that information to a clinician to begin to do the assessment. Every now and then, if you, you lose data, for example, you have to log out and log in. But in an event that you are out, out of internet coverage, it was so difficult. Despite it being an offline uh, application, you need inter internet to log in. 
So sometimes you may have language barriers where you need maybe a third person to interpret for you so that you understand that. Be on the same page with the client. The roads are almost impassable, you no? Know? And the goodness is that we are using four by four vehicles. So we are able to maneuver here and there and reach those places. These are places where we have no electricity. So sometimes when you have uh, no charging points, you run out of battery, you may need to have backup, for instance, like the power banks and stuff. So we had to retrofit the application to ensure that it had capabilities where a biodata entry clerk could send more than one record to the clinician. We also noticed that we needed to separate the roles between the biodata entry clerk and the clinician because we want to ensure that there's quality of data and we make sure that the person that is being assessed is actually the same person the clinician is seeing. We also saw the bottlenecks where the application itself was failing in terms of uploading and the devices, uh, the, the ones that were using the tablets in terms of their memory and the capacity they could contain. It was quite an up and down, but I think eventually we are getting there. One of the lessons uh, learned is that uh, there is actually demand for disability uh, cards, especially in the rural communities. And uh, the second one is that there's still a lot of awareness uh, that is needed uh, uh, within the communities to help them understand the importance of accessing these cards. Our hope in future is that the disability management information system should integrate with a social cash transfer, should integrate with a Zambia uh, Revenue Authority tax system so that they can be able to confirm using a system to say this person has a disability instead of just confirming through the card which is produced. We would also wish to see that persons with abilities that are migrants, that are refugees within the country, they are also registered and some of them are in health facilities such as the mental health institutions. So we'd want to find a system whereby the application system and registration point is extended to other marginalized groups internally within the country. Once the challenges are worked on, we are hoping that uh, uh, there's a, a scale up to the other four remaining districts in Muchinga uh, province. Then once that is done as well, we are hoping that the other provincial coordinators and as a PID will be trained on the use of this new offline system so that they could do, replicate the whole process in their respective uh, provinces. Uh, it, will be, it will be so helpful in terms of planning. You know, we are, we are now saying uh, disability mainstreaming, where in every, in every plan that we are making, uh, disability should be put into consideration. The United Nations in Zambia would like to appreciate the efforts that we are putting together with the government in improving and strengthening our data and statistics about persons with abilities. We are hopeful that going forward, uh, more interventions will be provided with the support of the UN, so that uh, at the end of the day, we can reach as many persons with disabilities as possible in Zambia.